Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, I'll be unboxing, reviewing, and par testing this. This is the Medic Grow Full Spectrum Bar Foldable LED Grow Light with dimming function, changeable spectrum, and supplemental UV and IR light, as well as a color LCD display to control it all. Okay, so. The folks out at Medic Grow have sent me out this, the Spectrum X 880 watt grow light. Now, I'm quite excited to unbox this because if it puts out what they say it puts out for the price they're asking with the features it has, it's a pretty good value grow light. First things first, discrete packaging. Let's have a look what's in the box. Slide it out. This is a big light. Okay, so we have the power cord. We've got two supplemental lighting bars. We've also got hangers, a daisy chain RJ cord, and the instructions. And they just fit over the light bar like so. And there's a little plug that they plug into on the frame of the bar. That's the whole setup done. This light comes fully assembled. So let's discuss the features of this light and there are a lot of features. The Spectrum X is a full spectrum LED bar grow light. It has eight bars, four on each side of its foldable body and two supplemental bars on top of that supplying infrared and UV light. It supplies 2,200 micromoles of PPF with a rated power draw of 880 watts. This is all done at a claimed efficacy of 2.8 micromoles per joule, but we will get to testing that in the real world a little bit later. The body is made from aluminium and the light is daisy chainable and controllable through a separate Wi-Fi controller that you can purchase for multi-array setups. It has an integrated LED display which allows you to view wattage, PPF value, as well as displaying the modes that you can put this light into. The light allows you to adjust the schedule in 6, 12, 14, 16, and 18 hours a day. And the light also allows you to adjust the brightness from 30% all the way up to 100%. On top of this, it allows you to customize the spectrum of the grow light with two base spectrums and then the addition of the infrared and IR lighting, which allows for a total of four custom spectrums with different arrangements of these modes. The V1 mode being the vegetative mode and the F1 mode being the flower mode or the higher red mode. The LED diodes used are 2,880 pieces of 4,000K San and diodes, as well as 80 pieces 660 nanometer Osram, 30 pieces 390 nanometer, and 60 pieces 730 nanometer. Filling out a really nice spectrum, and those LEDs are run by a SoSend driver, which is housed in the body of the unit. So let's hang up the light and see how it tests. We just clip our wire straight onto the hang points. And I'm going to be setting this up 12 inches above our surface. And this is being tested in a four foot by four foot or a 1200 by 1200 millimeter area. So we can turn on the light. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you what just happened. So I turn on the light and you get this really cool, like that is, that's a full color display with information on the spectrum, the timer. If you turn the left dial, you change the time. And if you turn the right dial, this controls the dimming function. So it actually gives you, it's not just incremental, it depends on how far you turn that dimmer. That's pretty cool. And then you can actually see, when you change the dimmer, you can see the watt draw. Um, you've also got here 
the red and UV IR. So we can turn those on as well. I'm just gonna turn them all on and we'll leave that for a while and see how hot it gets and then we'll do our reading. Okay, so the light's been running for about an hour and I'm just gonna do a quick heat test on the whole device. So it is hot to the touch and I wouldn't leave my hand on it. Internal bar is 55.8, which is 132.4 degrees Fahrenheit. On the external bars, 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. On the supplemental bars, 51 degrees Celsius or 124 Fahrenheit. And on the driver itself, 49 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are the temperatures. I'm now going to take the PAR readings. We can have a look at the map and find out the efficacy. Okay, so there is one caveat. Uh, because a PAR sensor doesn't actually measure the infrared and UV light, because it's not part of the photosynthetically active spectrum that it measures, I'm gonna do two tests. I'm gonna do a test with the infrared and UV turned on and the one, one with them turned off just to be fair because it will shift the uh, overall efficacy because there'll be power that's being used but not being read. So uh, I'm going to test without the UV and IR2 and without the UV and IR we have a wattage of 700, 730. Okay, so I've run the results for the PAR test and the results are quite impressive actually. Um, with the infrared and IR turned on, the PAR map looked like this. However, remember the PAR sensor doesn't pick up the infrared and the UV light. Our average for that PAR map was 1201. We times that by the area, which is 1.44 we get 1729 and we divide that by 819, which was the watt draw, and we get 2.11, which is the efficacy of the whole light without the radiation taken into account from the infrared and IR. So what I did was I retested it without the infrared and IR and the PAR map looked like this. Now the average of that PAR map was 1212. We times that by 1.44, we get 1745, and we divide that by 730, which was the watt draw at the wall, and we get an efficacy of 2.39 micromoles per joule. That is a ridiculously good efficacy. And this is a massive light. This 4x4 area, it's maxed out in, I would have it in probably a five by five minimum. Well and truly the most light you could ever require for a row. And when considering it's less than one US dollar per watt, this is a remarkably budget friendly light that is also feature rich. The build quality is on point. It's running slightly hot, but I mean, it's also putting out masses of pie. If you wanted it to run slightly more efficiently, or have it run for a longer lifespan, you can definitely turn it down. And because the PAR is so high, I would probably recommend not running it at 100% anyway. Another fantastic light from Medic Grow. Thank you to Medic Grow for sending it out. There's links in the description and a discount code for anyone that wants to buy it. Happy hydroponicking, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> On Who Chose. Now, I know the question that we all want answered is, can it run Doom? <laughs> I wanna know. <laughs> I need to know.